Hello. Today we will tell you about VAS Experts BNG solution in L2 DHCP mode. L2 mode assumes that the subscriber and the BNG are in the same broadcast domain, where the SSG works with all requests. L2 subscriber traffic is terminated on Stingray service gateway and transmitted to border router with VLAN and MAC changed. These parameters define the IP addresses of the service elements involved in the client authorization process. These parameters define the BNG1 interface. These parameters define the interface on the border where the traffic will be directed. In the current version, BNG does not announce the served subnets and NAT pools, therefore, you need to configure the static route from the border to the WAN SSG interface. The PCRF component is responsible for the platform interaction with the operator's billing system via the RADIUS protocol which is used for AAA. Authentication, Authorization, Accounting To authorize subscribers, vendor-specific attributes are used that are unique to the SSG solution. You need to connect the dictionary, which is available after installation in the directory. The subscriber is identified by the login. There are two types of login and IP bundles. Single bind means that one IP address is assigned to one login. Multi-bind means that multiple IP addresses or subnets are assigned to one login. Assigning services and policies to the login means applying to all IP addresses associated with login. To manage RADIUS services, you need to use service IDs. The required service identifier and profile name should be transmitted. Before starting work, services and policies must be described on the BNG. This is how the authorization process goes. Upon detecting a DHCP request from subscribers, DPI will generate an access request towards the RADIUS server, in which the MAC address and the value of the queue in queue tag can be used as the username. All L2 parameters of the subscriber are transmitted to the RADIUS server in the corresponding attributes. Upon subscriber's successful authorization, an access accept is sent with the required username fields. Username which defines the subscriber's login. List of services and policing that are enabled for the subscriber. Also, in addition to these services, DPI expects to receive network parameters for the subscriber, IP address, mask, gateway IP address, DNS server addresses, etc. All network parameters of the subscriber are transmitted using VSA. If the subscriber's authorization is unsuccessful, or the subscriber's personal account is out of money, then access reject is transmitted, which must contain the attributes setting the restrictions for the subscriber. The content is similar to access accept, but with a shorter session time. If the service list and policing are missing, then the default parameters described in the PCRF configuration are applied. The subscriber's network parameters should be transferred so that the subscriber has access to the captive portal for further payment for services. After the authorized subscriber has paid for the services and is switched from blocked to unblocked, in order not to break the current session, change of authorization can be sent from the RADIUS server. Full COA contains only the changed attributes. This signals the BNG to change only those attributes. To simplify integration, we suggest using simplified change of authorization. This option informs BNG that the user's attributes have changed and a reauthorization is required. Upon receiving such a notification, BNG sends a regular access request to the RADIUS server. When using a dedicated DHCP server, the framed pool attribute is transmitted in access accept instead of the IP address. Having received this attribute, DPI will form and send a DHCP request to an external DHCP server. BNG is configured via the main configuration files, which are located in the etc. DPI directory. The purpose of each file is indicated on the slide. Statistics, errors, DPI and PCRF diagnostics logs are located in var log DPI directory. The setup process is described in the documentation. Follow the link in the video description. Thank you for your time. Contact us if you have any questions and for test request.